Today I am working with Canson uh, acrylic paper, I believe. Yeah, that's what it is. And I'm starting with a pencil sketch. I don't always start with a pencil sketch. Um, I often will use my ink pens, which consist of um, drafting pens as well as uh, dip ink pens and some waterproof roller or gel roller pens, I believe. Um, and as you can see here, I had a cute little, I don't know, figure starting and then I just got a wild idea like, I didn't want it to be that cute. So I often just erase because <laughs> I wasn't really happy with where that was going. Um, so let's start over. I wanted it to be a little bit moody, a little bit weird, a little bit wacky, kind of like me. So let's see if we can achieve this. Um, I'm not really trying to do a full pencil sketch, even though sometimes I get carried away. And often I will hold the pencil, as you can see, um, at different angles and angles that don't feel comfortable to me and that gives me uh, more of a loose sketch or it takes my brain away from thinking too hard and just kind of putting down lines and trying to make the lines into characters and so that's what I'm doing here. I like working in pencil because well, number one, you can erase. And if you have a line that you don't like, take it away, make another line. Um, but I'm pretty good with pens, so I don't often worry about that. I have little tricks that I do um, to cover up mistakes when I'm working with pen. Um, and this one I know I'm going to paint over the whole thing and so I'm not really that concerned about um, the pencil. And then after I lay down some layers of paint, I'll go back in and darken the lines with um, ink again or I will use black paint. I'm experimenting now with charcoal. I'm just really, th this is kind of, this is just how I approach almost everything. I don't really have a plan. I should have a plan, but I don't. I sketch a lot in a sketchbook and from that sketchbook, just like most artists, we, you start to notice trends or recurring themes and I get hooked on phonics. I get hooked on um, a certain theme and then I just want to keep going and exploring that and I've been really digging these kind of overlapping melting figures over a main figure. Um, it, it kind of represents you know, all those figures that are in your life that hang on to you, whether it's kids or employees or family or friends that are leaning on you, that need you. So I'm going with that. Now I am moving on to ink. Um, I start with adding, laying down some water because I want it to flow. I want it to kind of shade and flow and be organic. I'm using a synthetic squirrel bush brush pen. Um, those pens are awesome, by the way. I love the synthetic squirrel brush pens. I'll put a link. I, I can't remember the name now. Squirrely or something like that. But I'm also going to use a dip pen for this, just for the finer lines. Um, initially allowing the ink to flow with the water. It's fun. I like that. I have no control. 
which I really like. I like the freedom of allowing the ink to do its job and I'm just experimenting. I approach a lot of my creative process with the mindset that if something is air quotes a mistake, like right now, I'm not really, I don't know what I'm doing here. And I'm not liking it. I do not like this. But, you know, I sprayed a little alcohol on it and it created this amazing texture. And you just go with it. And I do approach my creative process with a mindset. And I guess the same with my life. It's mistakes in air quotes, because is it really a mistake? can be fixed. Don't stop there. Keep going. Try to make it something else. I guess in the end, if you totally didn't like it and you were really mad and upset, you could just paint over it and or rip it, use it as collage since this is paper. But I'm going to keep going here and see what we come up with. I know I said these brushes were squirrel brush pens. I don't know what I was thinking. They're not pens, obviously. It's a synthetic squirrel brush. Four watercolors. I use them. This is um, the paint I'm using here is a fluid acrylic. I really like the fluid acrylics. I think it's Liquitex. I, I can't, I'll leave a link. I can't remember. I'm um, not sure. But I like the fact that it's, depending on the color, super transparent. You can build on it. It dries um, permanent. So it is easy to apply uh, dip pen or ink over it if you're illustrating. I really like the fluid acrylics. I don't like the bottles they come in. They're very messy and the tips clog. Uh, that is a pain. Worth. The pain is worth the value though. Um, right now I've got the dip pen out because I want to do some fine lines first. I felt like I needed to darken up my lines to help me with composition a little bit. The pencil lines were getting a little bit too light. And this also gives me an opportunity to step back, um, view the composition, maybe do some mark making and see where it's going to take me. Um, yeah, but I'm just going to keep going here.
anybody who knows me, I really feel that too much color is not a thing. I love color and don't be afraid of adding color. Don't be afraid to experiment. Give yourself an opportunity to go with, go for it. I'm using, um, right now I'm using a bamboo brush and I'm adding some watercolor. I have some metallic watercolor from Durant um, and you know, I'm obsessed with mark making. I always like to incorporate some mark making just for visual interest in my piece. Um, so continue doing that. Find your style, dots, crosses, straight lines, repetitive little lines, lines that don't make sense. Um, this is what's going to give your piece the personality. Jeez, I'm using a lot of alcohol spray in this piece. Um, I really like the texture and as you can see I keep kind of fussing around with this part over here because I don't, I don't, I'm just not confident in it right now but um, I don't know if you saw I used I have a paint rag and I'll dab away some of the color um, and just keep doing that until you are happy you know all art is a matter of creating, taking the time to assess what you've created, making adjustments, um, refining, detail work. That's exactly what's going on here. So I'll just continue on. I hope this video inspires you to go and grab all your art supplies. Grab a paper, grab some pens and paint and just get going. Get going with it. Start with a pencil sketch, watch this video a few times, add some paper and keep refining your details until your personality and your style shines through. 
Let me know what you think in the comments. Share your images on Instagram. I'd love to see them. Bye for now.